Hello and welcome to another video on soundproofing. Today we are going to talk about something that I know a lot of you are excited about, which is how to soundproof existing windows. So if you're in a house and you have a, a window that you want to keep open, um, if you have a window that you can't do the traditional way of soundproofing, like I usually recommend where you build your own windows because it's really expensive or you don't want to do all that construction. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can build something that will actually soundproof your window. It's a, a window insert and uh, block out that sound. And then you can even open this insert and allow light back into your studio. So if you're interested in learning more, stick around and we'll jump in to that lesson shortly. Before I jump in, I just want to say I have a free soundproofing workshop. This is 40 minutes of in-depth teaching going over every aspect of your design, and you can sign up and watch it right away at soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. All right, let's jump into this lesson on how to soundproof existing windows. <laughs> All right, just as a warning to start off with, this method will block out light while the barrier is in place. So this is not a perfect solution to existing windows if you wanna just have natural light pouring in while you're recording. If that's the case, I highly recommend watching my video on how to soundproof windows. And you can check that out at the description below. I'll also put a little link above me uh, in this YouTube video as well. So. That said, maybe go check out that uh, video and then come back here. But for those of you who are like, yes, no, I want to block out the existing window and it's okay if we block out light every once in a while when I'm recording, no big deal, then stick around. The other thing I'll say is that this is not a perfect method. It should block out a good amount of sound, but building a soundproof window, like I said in that other video, will give you better soundproofing overall. So again, just another warning before we jump in that this may not be the best option. However, it is a great option for a lot of you home studio enthusiasts um, who want to go this route. So the first design we're going to look at is from the Master Handbook of Acoustics by F. Elton Everest and Ken C. Pullman. I believe I have the seventh edition. They might have an eighth edition out now. This book is um, a great reference for acoustics and soundproofing. However, it is pretty intense, but we're going to take a little look at this section here on how to build an isolation barrier in an existing window. All right, so take a look at this diagram here from the Master Handbook of Acoustics. So as you can see, one of the first things I noticed is that you're still gonna need a fair amount of space either in front of the window or the same design could be done behind the window. Either way, you just need to make sure that you have enough room to put all the three quarter inch particle board in place. So we look at this design here, we'll notice that you're gonna use four layers of three quarter inch particle board and this will sit within a frame, a wood frame that you're going to build and then you're going to use carriage bolts to hold the entire thing in place. And this will go in front of your existing window. Now, as you know, with soundproofing, there's two things that are making this work. One is the mass of the three quarter inch particle board, which will add plenty of mass to help stop sound. And the second thing is gonna be making sure that it is absolutely airtight. So as you're building this system, I highly recommend um, using acoustic caulk and caulking all the joints in the air spaces where it says perimeter seal. You could use either acoustic caulk or you could use, um, if you wanna remove this again, some sort of weather stripping seal as well. Uh, like I used here, for example, on my soundproof door, you're essentially building a door uh, in this opening in front of your window or behind your window. So this is a fairly simple design and I kind of like it. Um, again, the drawback is that every time you want to open that window or have light come into your studio, you're going to need to undo those carriage bolts and pull out the entire system. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. And so this is more of a solution if maybe you want to keep this in place all the time and you're just going to cover up the window and not have to worry about it. Uh, but that is somewhat of a problem. I can see this being a huge benefit if you don't want to destroy the aesthetic of your house having that window. So when you sell it one day, you just take this out when it's no longer a studio and you're good to go. Now, the next design I'm going to show you is from Home Recording Studio Build It Like the Pros by Rod Gervais. Many of you know this is one of the books, I consider it the soundproofing Bible. And he has a great design because this is actually building a mini soundproof door in front of your window. Uh, and he actually does this design to show you how you could potentially use an 
in-window air conditioner unit in a studio, which I highly don't recommend, but if it's the last resort for you, this system would work for that. It also is a great example of how to soundproof an existing window and have it so that there's a door that you could actually open and close if you wanted to bring in light or if you were trying to increase isolation during a recording session. All right, so let's take a look at that second design. So if we look at this design here, uh, it's a little bit harder to read than the other one, but I'm gonna try to detail this as well as, as I can for you. So the big square in the bottom here is actually the air conditioner unit. He's talking about providing some support. For this video, we're not really thinking about air conditioners. So just imagine that that is actually just a continuous window seal. And instead, what he's talking about is on this outside wall. So now you also may not have a double wall system with your window, and that's totally fine. You could still adapt this door design towards the air gap in front or behind your window, like I said in the last video. So remember that this is showing it on the outside of the window, but we could also build the exact same thing in reverse flipped on the inside of the window. So I like this design because he's using hinges to allow this basically mini door to open. And you're gonna build this just like you would a soundproof door. So we're gonna get a custom fit door. This would require you cutting down probably a solid core door. However, it might be pretty expensive to buy the whole door and then cut it down to the size of the window. And then this is what I did in my studio. We're gonna add a eight pounds per square foot of sheet lead. Sheet lead is hard to buy, but um, you can get it from Roto Metals online here in the States and maybe they ship abroad and that's what I did. I'll have a link for that in the description below. And then there's gonna be isolation gaskets uh, for four sides. So the isolation gaskets, he says GM trunk rubber, that stands for General Motors trunk rubber. I actually bought this trunk rubber and wasn't super happy with it. It's very rigid and the door tends to kind of bounce off the seal and it doesn't give you the strongest seal. So to save you some money and potentially some time, uh, you can also just use uh, Frost King weather stripping or any sort of squishy weather stripping you'd buy at your hardware store and create that double seal. Sometimes this is called like a bank vault seal. Essentially the outside door is gonna hit one seal and then the inside panel uh, with the three quarter inch plywood over top of the eight pounds per square foot of sheet lead is gonna hit the second seal. He also has a third seal, which is a magnetic weather stripping over here. I actually highly recommend instead of doing that, uh, I really like getting the Zero Industries uh, weather gasketing, which essentially will put a seal up around your door that you can then adjust and the rubber seal will push it up, making it airtight. Uh, there's also a door seal kit that I will put in the link below as well um, from Acoustical Solutions that I think is, is a great solution and makes it easy. They just sell you the whole kit for you. So those are options there to make sure that this thing is airtight. This design will certainly cost more than the previous design. However, it would allow you to open the door more easily with hinges. So now that you have an idea of how this all works, uh, if you're really handy, you could maybe do a hybrid version of the two different door designs or the two different seals for your window. Uh, but this will give you an idea that the main thing you're looking at here is just sealing up the outside or inside of that window cavity with mass and then making sure that it is airtight. That is the key. No matter what you do, this just gives you a better idea of how to actually do it. So in conclusion, there's a few things I want you to take away from all of this. First, if you want light to be coming through your window while you're recording and have this beautiful window at all times, this system really doesn't work. I highly recommend building your own soundproof windows. Again, there's that link below in the description of how to build a soundproof window from scratch, and that's gonna give you much better results and it'll look nicer and cleaner in the long run. If you're feeling a little scrappy on a smaller budget, this system of blocking out the window cavity with basically a door and added mass will work, and it will allow you to open this or potentially inside your studio or outside your house if you're trying to let light in when you're not recording. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson on how to soundproof an existing window. Again, make sure to check out that soundproofing workshop if you are on this journey of trying to build your home recording studio that's gonna be soundproof and professional. That workshop is gonna help you with the entire process, lay it out in one continuous logical from the beginning to the end step that will help you out tremendously rather than just going down endless YouTube rabbit holes. So if you're ready to jump into that, just go to soundproofyourstudio.com workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com 
slash workshop. Thank you all so much for watching on YouTube, or if you're on our podcast listening at Soundproof Your Studio podcast, then thank you so much for listening as well. I look forward to seeing you all next week with some more soundproofing tips. Thank you.